Today we are going to deal with a new concept because all the differentiation terms that we have done over the past two days are relatively the easier one. This is the one that's a little bit more difficult. There will always be a few questions on this, two to three questions. Higher weightage, but normally it will not be a word problem. Okay, it usually come out as a question by itself. Not so much of a work problem, so you won't be penalized so heavily. Okay, it started already. Okay, what are we dealing with today? We are going to make use of what we call the product rule. Because yes. you want to attend your lesson. Okay, if you realize since Monday, all the differentiation, the questions that we have done are due with, they are all a term by itself. They are term by itself, singular term by itself. Okay, even yesterday when we were doing composite function, it's still a bracket term by itself, even though there were numerous terms inside. But today, we are going to make use of the product rule to deal with more than one term. What happens if it's a multiple of two terms? Okay, I'm going to tell you the technique first. Okay, the technique is differentiate the first. Keep second. Plus, second step. Differentiate the second. Keep first. Done. We're going to repeat this today, tomorrow, and even Friday. Okay, we need a lot of practice on this kind of question where we make use of the product rule. They will be wondering, huh, what exactly is a product rule? Obviously, from the word product, you know it's a multiple of another term. Am I right to say that? Okay, I'm going to show you one example first. Okay, I'm going to do question 1C. Same thing, you have to differentiate the following. What do you realize about this expression? Are they product of one another? Okay, the moment they are not by themselves, they are product of one another, you have to make use of the product rule of differentiation. Meaning, of course, this is not found in the textbook. The textbook has another technical way which sometimes is a little bit more difficult. So I make it a little bit easier. The first term that you see, you differentiate first. Keep the second. Blah. Then you differentiate the second term. Keep the first. Okay, I'm going to do it one for your first. So no need to copy, just focus on the five box first. First thing, when the expression is given, always define the function. Once you define, you see you can simplify or not. I don't think we can simplify anymore. Okay, this is already in its simplest form. So we are ready to do our differentiation. Now, differentiate the first bracket. If I differentiate 2x plus 3, what would be the answer? 2. Am I right? So write the first answer. Keep the second means you don't do anything to the second, you continue writing the second term. Plus. Now you differentiate the second term. Okay, second term not so easy. You realize that the second term is a composite function. So when it's a composite function, how many steps are there? Three. Then do it step by step. Bring down the power. Reduce the power by one. Differentiate the term inside this bracket. Am I right? When I differentiate the term inside this bracket, x minus three. What do I get? One. Okay, you see there's a one over here. This is a zero, so it's just one. Do I need to write down the one? No need. Uh, am I done with differentiating the second term? So is this the answer? No. Differentiate the second, keep the first. So I keep the first term. To most of you, this looks like the answer. No. There's one more thing you need to do. Okay, remember what is our favorite word last year? Or letter? Factorize the F word. Okay, the F word is a very important word. It's also on a class t-shirt as well, remember? Okay, so do you see that there is a common term over here? What's the common term? X minus 3, there's an X minus 3. Do we take 
take out the one with a bigger power or smaller power. Always take out the one with a smaller power. So in this case, it's very clear that the x minus 3 is a common term. So I write down x minus 3. 4 and 3, I take out the one with a smaller power. Put a square bracket behind because you may need to simplify. Alright? Write down whatever terms you can take out. Can I take out 2? No. Do I need to keep an x minus 3 over here? Yes, we only took out power 3, there's still an extra term here, x minus 3. Okay, now look at the second term over here. Did I take out 4? No, continue writing. Did I take out x minus 3 to power 3? Yes, I did, so I don't need to write this term, I need to continue writing the remaining term over here. Then I simplify all the terms inside the square bracket and that will be the answer. Thank you.